Well, good evening, everybody from uh, Millersburg. Tonight, the Trojans have taken their act here to the home of the Millersburg Indians. And we're having the introduction of the ball players now as we get set for Lady Trojan basketball here in the 98-99 season. And starting out there for UD tonight will be Weaver and Lark and, of course, Kelly Dravovis. And uh, she'll be joined out there momentarily by number 33, Julianne Papandria. And then finally, it will be uh, Amanda Lucas it will be the fifth starter here for Coach Shadle tonight as the Trojans look to pick up their first victory in the TVL this year, having a 0-1 record. And uh, look like they want to get on the winning track tonight, so they're going to try to overcome these Millersburg Indians. Millersburg coming off a three-point loss to Halifax just uh, the past Monday night. So. We'll be getting it on here now as we have the introduction of the Millersburg players, and then we'll be right back with the opening tip of tonight's ball game. Should be a good one. Teams are ready to jump it off here now, and we're ready to go as Lucas will tap it off for the Trojans, and the ball is going to be controlled over there by number 21, Doughty of the uh, Indians. Doughty's in here, and Baker Doughty had a lot of playing time last year. Baker, of course, has been here forever, it seems, and she'll pass it back out here for Doughty. They have uh, inside Haynes. Now they'll wing it back over here. Shot from the wing for two or three. No good. That was by that uh, Baker. And Baker has it back again. She push it out in front for Doughty. Doughty back on the right wing for Baker. And she'll try to move it back out as the Trojans have them pretty much cut off on inside. Now there's a pass inside. And the ball comes tapped away nicely there by Lucas. And uh, picked up in there by the Trojans. Trojans sent out there. Uh, and Dravobis, of course, Kelly, the quarterback of the ball club. She will direct the traffic as she takes it inside in the paint, looking for two. It's good. Kelly Dravobis for the first two points of the ball game, and the Trojans lead two zip. Back comes Doughty for Millersburg. Dravobis working on her out in front, nearly stolen away, and a tie up nicely in there. It's going to be UD ball. Kelly Dravobis, always aggressive out there. Gets the tie up for the Trojans and gives them the ball back. See what Kelly decides to do with this one. Goes over in the right wing with it for we uh, Weaver. Now inside, whoops, off the face of, of uh, Trojan. And then they'll drop it right back here for uh, <clears throat> Lucas for two. Nice pass inside there. Dropping it off to Amanda Lucas. Here's a quick pass up ahead. 24 of the shot blocked away nicely by Lucas. Shot though put up on the second effort. Good. Weebner gets two of them back for Millersburg. It's 4-2. Lucas taking it over on the right wing as she was cut off trying to get out of the middle. Lucas has it again back here for a try from outside by Driver. This wouldn't go and the ball's going to be tapped out of there. Looks like it might have been off the hands of UD. I think uh, Amanda Lucas might have got a hand on that one last. So they'll inbound the ball here. Stolen away on the inbounds pass and the steal made by Weaver. And Jen doing a good job trying to steal that ball away. Here's Haynes inbounding for uh, Dowdy. Back for Haynes, and Haynes will take it down the court, across the timeline, all the way down into the wing. Now ah, she's going to take it inside for two. It's good. Well, Miss Haynes for two, and it's now a 4-4 ball game. She worked that one in pretty well. I think everyone would agree. Taking it all the way coast to coast and putting it home. Here's Lake. Spinning it over here for Weaver, and then out in front, they try to go inside with the ball tapped away, picked up over there by Julianne for Pandria. Pass inside for Lucas. Lucas spinning around in the paint, lost control of it, and let's see, it's going to be a foul called on Millersburg. I think it's on Doughty. It is. Doughty picks up the first foul of the ball game for the Millersburg Indians. 5:21 remaining here in the uh, first period. 4-4 is the score. Here's a shot put up by Lucas. Wouldn't go. And on the rebound, it's going to go out of bounds. Off the Trojans. 
Hmm. I thought that went off uh, Huffman, but I guess not. Picked up in here now for that Haynes. Haynes pushes it over here for number 24, and uh, she has her shot blocked out of there nicely again by uh, Amanda Lucas, who all of a sudden seems like she's 6'3 out there. <laughs> Wheeler had her shot blocked that time. Pass inside, rolls loose, picked up in there, and then stolen back again by the Dowdy out in front for Millersburg. She'll work it around with a uh, little help over there, and then a walk called. Courtney Huffman got tangled up over there on the wing and went for a walk. <clears throat> Trojans coming back with it now. Still tied at four. This is Dribovic. Kelly's going to take it all the way in. Pushes it underneath, intended in there for Lake, but it went loose and picked up in there by the Trojans. Steal it back then, and a bump foul is going to be called on number 35, Haynes of Millersburg. Dribovic getting ready to inbound the ball for UDA. First foul on uh, Haynes, second foul on Millersburg. Nice pass inside. They go over in a wing with it. Now underneath they'll try to go with it. Ball goes off Haynes, number 35 inside. So UD will maintain possession as Kelly Dribovic gets ready to fire it into one of these gals who are lined up in front. Pushing it back here now for Lark. Drive a for three. In and out, it's spun. And let's see, on the rebound, it's going to go out of bounds off of Pandria, I believe. And UD will turn it over here now to the Indians. Trojans with some man-to-man -man defense on the Indians right now, and the ball comes loose as it's stolen away by who else? Kelly Drive a over there for Weaver. Weaver will spin it out in front, but it's stolen back by Courtney, and then she'll walk with it as Courtney Huffman picked that one off and walked with it. So UD gets another chance to inbound that basketball over here for Weaver. Jen picking it up out here for Lark. Inside they go over in the wing. Shot by Papandria for two is good. Julianne Papandria gets two and gives the Trojans a 6-4 lead. Baker trying to bring it up court here as she does so for Millersburg. UD with some good defense underneath the bucket tonight. So far, anyway. There's a pass inside and a tie up, and it's going to remain Indian ball this time. Natalie Huffman in to replace Wiebner for Millersburg. This is Baker with it, pushing it right inside for Natalie Huffman, but out of bounds it goes. We have a Courtney Huffman and a Natalie. Courtney's still in there. She's number uh, 30. As Courtney, or uh, the other one had it. <laughs> okay, here's uh, Dowdy with a shot blocked away partially and picked off in there by Weaver, who will drop it back now for Dribovic. Two, or 325, rather, remaining here in the first quarter. Trojans with a two point lead. Kelly Dribovic on the baseline, stopping, making it four. No, wouldn't go down. And on the rebound, controlled in there by Millersburg. Back for Baker, and Baker having some trouble with it. She'll push it ahead here now for that Courtney Huffman. And Courtney picks up the dribble. Back for Baker. Near wing over here, they go to Natalie Huffman, and then into Dowdy. Dowdy passes underneath the Baker. Baker for two, it's good. We're tied at six all. Nice pass that time for Nat from Natalie Huffman to uh, Baker. Here's Weaver to get the lead back again. Nope, wouldn't go down. On the rebound, is controlled over there by UD. Shot put up by uh, Lark, wouldn't go. And the ball rolls down this way. Quick outlet here now for number 35, Haynes, and Haynes missed the shot. Had an opportunity there on the quick break, but missed the layup, and back comes UD. Here's Dribovic for two, it's good. Kelly all the way in for two. And we're tied up again. Or no, we're, we're ahead now, 8-6. Here's Baker. Baker taking it inside and got bumped away in there nicely as Lucas tied her up. And then on the floor it goes. It's going to be tied up and it'll be UD ball. So again, Amanda Lucas, number 41 out there with a good defensive play as uh, she tied that ball up nicely. Martin into the ball game for uh, Millersburg replacing Haynes. <clears throat> Ellie Dribovis working it down here as we get inside of two minutes to play here in the first quarter. 
Comes Kelly, looking for two. It's good. Kelly with a left side layup that time. Makes it two more. It's now 10-6. Here comes Baker. Baker into the middle. She goes with it, but a push foul will be called on uh, Jen Weaver. Her first. Non-shooting foul, and uh, Martin will inbound the ball for Millersburg. I think. Yep, but it's tapped out of there right away and goes off the hands of uh, Weaver. Jen doing a good job defending on that inbounds play and knocked it out of there. Here's Baker. Baker seven up for her two. It is good. Get a funny bounce down here off these bank boards. They always did. Uh, it seemed to be anyway. They're, they're kind of lifeless. They, uh, the ball goes up there and uh, the backboard rattles, the rim rattles, and <laughs> that one just kind of flopped up in the air, went down in for Miss Baker. Driver was passing it out here. A 17 foot try by Lucas, wouldn't go. And on the rebound, it's on the floor and picked up in here by Papandria. Back for Drival Biss. Kelly working it around in front. Now tries to go underneath with it. It looked like maybe a shot slash pass, so hard to say for uh, Lucas, but Amanda couldn't reach it and it was not a shot, so probably an errant pass by Kelly that time. There's a pass ahead here now for Dowdy. Dowdy tracking it down on the wing, goes right underneath with it for Courtney Huffman, and a foul's gonna be called underneath. Might be on Amanda Lucas, I believe. We'll see. Nope, I'm wrong. It was on Kelly Drivelbiss, her first. Here's a near steal in there as Lark tracks that one down. Knocked it out of there. Stacy almost had the steal. Pass back here for Baker. Baker will take it down the right side. Goes to push it inside. doubt has got it, but hold everything. A foul before the shot will be called on Jen Weaver, and Jen will pick up her second, I believe. Jen picks up her second, I think it was. And uh, she's replaced out there. Now it's Herb comes into the ball game for Udy. 17-foot try by Baker is good for two. And we're tied up 10-10. Inside of one minute to play, down to 40 seconds, as a matter of fact. Here's Drivovis with it. Kelly right underneath with a nice pass for Lark. Lark uh, controlling it on the wing. Now outside it comes here for Luke uh, for Lucas, and then uh, back eventually to Papandria for two. It's good. Or to uh, Papandria for two. It's good. Julianne Papandria for two. This is uh, ball stolen away. Papandria looking to get two more. It is good. Way to go, Julianne Papandria. And here's a quick pass up ahead here. Now it's going to be stolen back here by Lucas. Lucas with it. They take it down here as time winding down here. And in fact, that did it as the Trojans could not get it up court. But a nice one there right at the very end of the first quarter gives the Trojans a four-point lead. Now it is 14-10 UDA. And we'll be right back with the second period in a moment. Beginning the second quarter, and it's going to be Millersburg with the ball down here for Haynes, who is back into the ball game now to start the second period. Here, Doughty. Doughty rolling it around in front, pushing it back over here for that Martin. Now it goes over in the left side. They'll try it over there. Doughty with it back here for Baker. Baker pushing it back out there for Courtney Huffman. And here's Haynes forcing one up. No good. On the rebound, let's see. Haynes got it, but she's going to bounce it off. Dowdy and out of bounds it goes. He tried to get it in there, but hit her own player with it. Unintentionally, of course, and back to come the Trojans now. They have that four-point lead, and they like to extend that a little bit here. <clears throat> it's uh, Herb in there, number 21 for UD. Now, uh, spinning it here, Lucas, 16-foot try, just off the mark, and the rebound comes right there to Baker. And Baker will bring it back up court for Millersburg. Man, Lucas getting some good shots off, uh, some of which will get awfully close, but didn't win. Whoops, near walk. It looked like a walk. Haynes with it on the wing. Out in front for Baker. And Baker over there for Martin. Into the corner it goes. Now underneath there for Courtney Huffman. Courtney's try for two is good. Wow. And back comes uh, Drivelbiss. 
Dropping it over there for Lark for two. Wouldn't go. Rebounded underneath there by Papandria, though. Her shot won't go, but Juliet will go to the line. Shooting two. 6.35 left here in the first half. Trojans by two, and Julianne's going to make it three. And uh, she, no, not that time. She'll get one more shot at it, though. Come on. She'll make it. I can try? Good. All right. 15-12 UD by three. Boy, the uh, junior varsity game here tonight ended up a two-pointer. And here's Baker dishing one off for Courtney Huffman for two. And again, we're back to a one-point ball game now. Trojans up by one, 15-14. Anyway, the JV game was very close. Here's a nice dish off for Papandria. And Julianne's going to get another whack at the free throw line now as she is hacked in there. And she'll go to the line shooting two. Foul was on Haynes. I think that's her second. It is. First shot by Julian Papandria is good. And let's see, re-entering the ball game now is that uh, number 53, Natalie Huffman. And here's Julie's second try. It's good. So now she's got the range, 17-14, UD by three. Here's a quick pass from Martin underneath and a good block again by Amanda Lucas. Amanda really playing some good D out there. And blocked about her third or fourth shot here in the ballgame. Racking them up. Here's a pass inbounded for Baker. She lost the handle on it, but she'll get it over there for Dowdy. Dowdy back there for Natalie Huffman. Natalie Huffman bounces it into the paint, puts a shot up, no good. Rebound tipped around in there and controlled by UD. Lark picking it up over there for the Trojans. Back for Dribblebiss. Over for Lark. Stacy on the baseline. Shot by Lucas for two. It's good. Amanda Lucas for two. And back with it comes Martin. Martin quickly across there for Courtney Huffman. Outside Baker has it. Now they try to go into Courtney Huffman. Tapped away again. Again tapped away by Lucas. And Lucas will pick it up and drop it back here for Herb. Nice play tonight by that Amanda Lucas. So far so good. Here's Lake dropping it here for, uh, for a shot by Lucas wouldn't go. Rebounded on the far side, and they're going to outlet it quickly here and too quickly as Baker will not catch up with this one. So it goes out of bounds of a UDA ball. And timeouts. It's going to be called by Millersburg now. Trojans with the biggest lead of the ball game. It's five points, 19-14 UDA. 5-15 remaining here in the first half of our game. Okay, Millersburg timeout over, and uh, back with it come the Trojans. As Kelly Dribovis will bring it up court. Five minutes, five seconds remaining in the half. Over in a wing she goes. Herb for two or maybe three. No good. Rebound tapped around in there and out of bounds. It goes off the hands of the Indians. And Kelly Dribovis will get set to inbound it. Over in a wing it is. This is Herb dropping it back here now for Dribovis. Kelly over there for Herb and then back to Dribovis. In on the baseline it is. And let's see, they'll force it out in front here for a shot by Julian Papandria. Wouldn't go, and the rebound comes back out here for her. Eventually, here's a shot by Lake, or Lark, rather, for two. Nice bucket there by that Stacy Lark. And on the inbound pass, stolen away by Dribovis. Dribovis looking for some help. Fires it over the wing. Shot from the side for two. Oh, in and out. Wouldn't go, and a foul on the rebound. Boy. A foul on the rebound. Foul will be on number 22 of the Trojans, and that is uh, Klinger, Adrian Klinger, into the ball game, number 22 for the Trojans. She picks up her first personal foul. And inbound pass knocked out of there. Ivovic's got a hand on it, knocked it out. And they'll try to inbound it again. And let's see. They'll pick it up up here quickly for Huffman. This is Natalie Huffman for two. No good. Blocking foul called, and Natalie Huffman will go to the line, shooting two. Foul was on Adrian Klinger, her second. As uh, Huffman here, Natalie Huffman goes to the line, shooting two, made her first one. 
Number 10, Miskinis into the ball game for Millersburg as Natalie Huffman gets ready to put her second shot up and in. 21-16 as Klinger will check out of the ball game. And in there comes uh, Heather pick up her name here in just a minute. Her name eludes me. I don't have my sheet out, so we'll find out who that is and just said, no, it's Heather, but I can't think of her last name. Anyway, into the corner goes. Shot from the side by Weaver, wouldn't go. And on the rebound, it's picked up over there by Millersburg, quickly outletting it here for Baker. She'll try to spin it back inside here for Huffman, but the ball's going to be tapped out over there. Chasing it down is uh, Jess Herb. Knocking it out there for UD number 21, she is. And Miskinis inbounding. This is Huffman tapped down in there nicely by Herb. We'll spin it back here now, and the Trojans bring it back. Good job again by that Jess Herb out there. Over the wing, shot for two. It is no good off the mark, and on the rebound, it's going to go out of bounds and stay here. As they say, the last person to touch it was Natalie Huffman. So UD will get a chance to inbound the ball. Travel this, getting set, pushes it right over here for Weaver. Jen wants to give it back to Travel this, turnaround shot by uh, Heather, wouldn't go, and a rebound comes back here to Baker. Baker with a pass underneath. A little bit too deep, I think, with Dowdy, but she backed out and got a bucket out of it. Uh, that is the younger Dowdy, I can't think of her name either. I think Leanne Dowdy, I think, was her sister or something like that. That doesn't sound right either. Anyway, here's a drive by Drivelvis for two. 23-18, the Trojans by five. Back comes Dowdy with it for Millersburg. Here's Baker stopping, pushing it over here for Dowdy. And Dowdy wants to take it on the wing. Blocked away in there by Weaver, picked up by Drivelvis. Here comes Kelly. Kelly with the left-hand side layup, and it wouldn't go, but a foul's called. Foul will be on Baker, and Drivelvis will go to the foul line, shooting two. <laughs> Kelly Drivelvis shooting her first of two. And her first one is perfect. <laughs> Lucas and Papandria back into the uh, ball game now for the Trojans as Kelly Drivelvis aims her second one up and in. Good. Two nice foul shots. 18, 20, 25, 18. Here comes Muskinis with it. Muskinis looking to roll one all the way underneath, but the ball is tapped out of there off the hands of Lucas. Muskinis that time wanted to find a guy open underneath no matter what and <laughs> fired one under there. Probably wish she didn't now, but anyway. Here's Muskinis with it. Nice underneath the bucket layup by Muskinis as she was able to force that one up and in. Good job. And uh, back with it comes uh, Dravobis for Lark. Over to the corner it goes. Now inside for Lucas and three seconds called on the Trojans inside. Got two minutes, 21 seconds left here in the first half. Trojans up 25-20. Five point margin here. As uh, they'll go over to the corner with it to Miskinis. Near wing here for Baker. Now back out for Doughty. Doughty for three. It's good. A three-point shot for Miss Doughty. And it is now a two-point ball game. 25-22 with it less than two minutes to play. In the ball in the first half. Shot from the side by Papendry. A little bit long. Rebounded underneath there by Lark. And Lark and Muskinis tie it up. And it will be UD ball. As Travel Viss will get ready to inbound for Upper Dauphin. Right over here for Weaver. Now back to Kelly. Inside they go with it for Lucas. Back outside. Here's a shot by Lark for two. It's good. Stacy Lark steps up and gives the Trojans a four-point margin. 27-23. Dowdy inside. Now they'll push it right here for Baker. Her shot no good. No, that wasn't Baker. I beg your pardon. That was uh, Haynes. But anyway, back with it comes UD. Weaver sets up for two. Ooh. Just off the mark, and on the rebound, Courtney Huffman with it. Back here for Baker. 
Here comes Baker up the court with it. Stopping, dropping it back outside for three. In and out, it's spun, no good. Rebounded there to Papandria. He'll drop it back for UD. Well, both teams running and gunning there for a moment. And the Trojans still with that four-point lead. Now as we're inside of the last minute to play in the first half. Here's Lark dropping it on the baseline for Pandria. Shot blocked in there by Courtney Huffman. Ahead for Baker. She'll spin it ahead here now for uh, Dowdy. Dowdy throws an underhanded shot or something up. Terrible looking shot and it didn't go. And back comes UD. Over the wing. Here's Lark stepping up for two. It is good. Stacy Lark got that one to hang in there. It had to think about it. Not much arc on the ball, but uh, went down anyway. And back comes Haynes. Inside to Baker. Baker, let's see, walked with it as she could not stop fast enough. So she is called for the walk. And UD will inbound the ball with just 18 seconds left here in the first half. Weaver. Checking out of the ball game as Herb comes back in for UD. Clock coming down to 14 seconds. Here comes Dribovis dumping it off on the base or on the wing. Now a shot outside by her by Lark is good. Quick pass ahead here for Courtney Huffman. Ahead to Miskinis for two. It's good. Miskinis has got two more at the buzzer, so that's gonna do it as the half comes to an end, but the Trojans now up by six at halftime. It is 31-25, UDA back with the second half. And just the blink of an eye, or maybe two blinks. Be right back. Well, as a child of four can see, the teams are back on the court. <laughs> <laughs> and they're ready to go now as Millersburg will be given the ball to inbound here to begin the second half of play. They trail the Trojans by six, 25, 31, 31, 25. And it will be Haynes getting ready to inbound the ball here and she'll do so back there for that Dowdy. And I uh, want to mention that Heather Tressler was the girl I could not think, I could think of Heather, I could think of her last name. So Heather, I apologize to you. And uh, shot from the side here for two, three is good by Baker and that Cuts the Trojan lead in half now. It's UD by three, 31 28. And in the corner they go with a shot right over there from Weaver. A little bit long and on the rebound, let's see, it's going to go out of bounds off Papandria. And it will be Millersburg ball. Here comes Dowdy with it, working it up the court, across the timeline, center court. And uh, Baker from 17 feet out, that one wouldn't go. Rebounded in there to Papandria very nicely. And back comes UD as Drivelbiss has it. On the wing over there for Weaver. Jen's got it again. Nearly had the shot. Pushed it inside for Lucas. Here's Drivelbiss taking it inside and she's fouled. Done shooting. Trojans send out there to begin the second half their starting lineup. Drivelbiss along with Papandria, Lark, Weaver, and Lucas. And uh, Drivelbiss will be inbounding the ball. Weaver for two, a little long. Rebound on the far side, controlled in there by Millersburg. They'll bounce it ahead here now, and a shot taken by uh, number 24 is good. And that's that uh, Weavner for Millersburg. Here's Lucas, Amanda, ooh, almost had the shot. Shot from outside by Dravovus, wouldn't go, and the rebound comes down here to Courtney Huffman. Pushing it ahead here now for uh, Dowdy. Dowdy tangled up in the paint. The ball is loose and then they're going to call a walk on UD as they struggle to get that basketball. Weaver will check out of the ball game as Jess Herb comes in there for Coach Shadel. Dribblebiss defending on the inbound pass. Back here for Baker. Here's Miss Baker. Shot from the side by Dowdy. Wouldn't go. Rebound comes there to Lark and Stacy. We'll pick it up and give it back here for Drivelbiss. Kelly had a good first half for sure, and she's looking for more here in the second half. Over the wing it goes. Shot over there by, uh, by Herb wouldn't go. Rebound to Lucas, push it back out here for Lark for two. That wouldn't go. Rebounded to uh, Lucas, but her shot partially blocked away, I believe, and quickly a pass here for Baker of Millersburg. 
Outside for three. In and out, no good. Rebound comes down there to Lark, and she'll drop it back for Rattlebiss. 5.52 left here, and the clock moving on down in the third quarter. Trojans with a one-point lead now, 31-30. Shot from the wing for two. Wouldn't go, and on the rebound, it's going to be Haynes dropping it back here for uh, Millersburg and uh, Dowdy. Courtney Huffman here for uh, that Wiebner, and Wiebner is tied up, and it's going to be UD ball. So Wiebner trying to take it inside, gets herself tied up over there, and back come the Trojans. Millersburg's squad on the bench over there, if you notice, has four ball players, four subs. Trojans with about seven or eight. Shot from outside by Herb for two, it's good. Herb with a nice bucket for two. And on the inbound pass, stolen away by Lucas. Shot put up by Dribovitz, good. I can't imagine Lucas racing inside there to knock that ball away. You might not have been able to see her, but that's who it was. And back with it come the uh, Haynes. She has it tapped out of there. She said it went off. They said it went off Haynes. So uh, Willersburg will inbound the ball. They give it to Baker to inbound for Haynes. Haynes picking it up for uh, Wiebner into the corner. This is uh, Dowdy. Dowdy steps back for a couple. It's good for two. Dowdy looked like she hesitated that time, maybe wanted to pass it inside, but instead put it up and got herself two points. Steps called that time on uh, Lark as she took her off just a little bit too quickly. And Dowdy coming back with it now for Millersburg. Passing it back over here now for Haynes. Haynes all the way down the paint. Puts the shot up and in. Good. I can't believe it. That was an I can't believe it shot by Miss Haynes. It's 35-34. UDA by one. So these Indians still on the attack here. Sneaking up on our Trojans as Indians are wont to do. And uh, Tribal Biss out in front now. As Lark circling around on the left wing. Lucas moving around inside. The ball comes over here to Lark. Try to go inside the Lucas. The ball's tapped away, picked up in there by Wiebner, and they're going to call a walk. As Wiebner spun around there, she was harassed a little bit by Lark, I believe it was, and she went for the walk. So Dribovis will inbound the ball for UD. A break for the Trojans that time as they had lost the ball away, but the walk it will give it back to them. Right underneath it goes for Lark, but it's stolen away. Courtney Huffman has it, and then they're going to call a whole foul on UDA. Wow. The foul was on Lark. We'll see how many she has here in just a moment. The ball is loose. Picked up in here by uh, Lucas. Back for Herb. Herb up court with, or uh, rather, Dribovis, rather. Over to the corner. Shot over there by Papandria wouldn't go. Courtney Huffman with a rebound. Ahead quickly here for that Haynes gal. Haynes tries to bounce it over here to Weaver, but it's knocked out of there by the duel of Lark and Dribovis that time. First personal foul was called on uh, Lark that time, her first. And here's Baker on the baseline trying to push it inside, but stolen away nicely there and picked up by Herb. We'll drop it back here now for Kelly Dribovis. 325 left here in a quick moving third quarter. Give me a Fast-moving game here so far. Both teams going at it. Not too much fouling and shooting and all that stuff. Here's Lucas with it. And a tie-up underneath as uh, Dowdy reaches in and ties the ball up there with uh, Amanda Lucas. And Natalie Huffman will return to the ball game for Millersburg. And it's going to be uh, Lanker into the ball game for the Trojans. She'll replace Lark. Haynes getting ready to inbound it. Does so here for Baker. And Baker will get ready to take off with it. And she does so over on the wing. This is uh, Haynes for two. It's good. Haynes drives it up and in nicely for two. And it's 36-35. The Trojans have lost the lead now as Millersburg takes over by one. Trojans had a six-point margin. And then Kelly Dribovis will walk with that one. And the Trojans need to calm down here now. Get it back in shape. 
Here comes Baker with it. Baker with a head of steam. Pushes it over here in a wing. Shot by Natalie Huffman for two is good. And all of a sudden the Trojans trail by three and Coach Shadel alertly calls timeout. 2.44 left here in the third quarter. The Trojans trail now 38-35. Millersburg timeout is over now, and the Trojans will inbound the ball. 2.40 left here in the third period. Trojans trail by three. Inside here for, well, now they come outside for a drive of this. Inside, she'll go with it. Back outside. They have Lanker in there now. Number 15 for UD. This is her with it. Here, nice pass for Lucas for two. It's good. And Amanda will go to the foul line, shooting one to get three, and more importantly, to tie up the ball game. So come on, Amanda. Luke is shooting one to get three, and her first shot is good, and we're tied. Amanda Lucas has tied up the ball game, 38 all, as back comes Dowdy for Millersburg. Dowdy trying to roll it inside, but rolls it over in the wing, and a walk called that time as uh, Haynes went for the walk, trying to get it going, but uh, did that little Extra step and got called for it. So back comes the Trojans. Shot by Lanker for two. No good on the rebound. Papandria looks like, oh, it'll roll off the rim. And Julianne almost had it again. They're going to call a hold on a quick whistle that time. Pretty quick whistle on uh, Julianne Papandria. Wow. Wow. Julianne got stung with that one, I think. Anyway, she checks out of the ballgame. Now, Lark back in there. Oh, and a foul will be called on her, but she reached over the back of uh, uh, Indian. Not sure whom, but anyway. For Herb, it will be her first. For, yeah. And back comes Dowdy. Dowdy working it all the way down on the right side over there. Pushes it back out here for Baker. Baker here for Natalie Huffman. Her shot off the far side and a rebound over there controlled by Herb for UDA. And back comes Drivovis. Kelly inside nicely for Lucas. Lucas goes to put it up but lost the handle. Kelly 17 foot pass instead of a shot. Shot from the side though however by Hurd is good for a two. Ball nearly stolen away. Back with it comes the uh, Dowdy and Dowdy will have it on the left wing over here. Stopping and pushing it here for a shot blocked away by Lucas but then fired up again by someone underneath there and it's going to be a whistle and it will be UD ball. 40-38 UD by two. As back they come to make it four if they can. This is Drivelbiss. Lucas. Over in a wing it goes. Drivelbiss trying to throw it out front. But here comes Baker. And Baker has a chance to tie up the ball game. She glides in for two and it's good. Baker has tied us up 40-40 with less than a minute to play here in the third quarter. So this is going to be a, one of these barn burners, right? Or whatever they call them. Inside it goes here for Lanker. She'll drop it back now for Lark. Lucas from 15 feet out, just short. And on the rebound, let's see, controlled here to Dowdy. Dowdy working it up court with uh, 29 seconds remaining. Ball tapped away nicely by Lanker, or by uh, Herb. Herb stopping and popping, it's good. Big bucket by Jess Herb that time. And back with it comes Haynes for Millersburg. Clock down to five seconds, three seconds, or 13 seconds, I guess it is. Yeah, okay. A little obstructed view of the... Uh, goal here. Here's a shot from the side for three. Wouldn't go. And on the rebound, let's see, controlled here by UD, and that's going to do it. This shot is good if it would go, but it won't go. And so the score at the end of three-fourth of our ball game, it's UDA 42, Millersburg 40. Hmm. Okay, we're ready to go now with the fourth and final quarter. Millersburg will get a chance to inbound the ball as Haynes gets ready to inbound it here, probably to Doughty, and that's indeed what it was. I like that play there. Haynes to Doughty in the inbound. No. <laughs> it was a great guess on my part. Here's a pass over there for uh, Baker. 
Oh, ball tapped away, but picked up. Baker from outside for two. It was very short or wild or whatever. Didn't get close and uh, may have been partially blocked. I'm not sure. At any rate, UD will get the ball back. 42-40, UDA by two, looking for their first victory of the season. And Millersburg, as I said, lost a three-point ball game to Halifax earlier on. So this ball's tapped out of there that time by Miskinis. Coach Miskinis' daughter, number 10. And they'll push this one back here for Lark. And the ball is loose, but picked up in there by Herb. Dropping it here for Stacy Lark. She'll drop it for Drivelbis. Drivelbis for two. A little bit long. And Miskinis with the rebound. Comes Miskinis, looping it ahead, but stolen away by Drivelbis. And back comes Kelly with it for UDA. Kelly going all the way for two. It's no good. And on the rebound, it's controlled in here by Haynes. And Haynes will uh, control the dribble out in front here to that uh, Dowdy. Dowdy looping it over there for Baker. Baker around a pick inside for Huffman for two, and Courtney Huffman couldn't get the shot to go down. Miskinis from outside for two, it's no good. Courtney Huffman again looking for two, it's no good, but she's fouled. And Courtney will go to the line, shooting two. I was on number 22, Adrian Klinger, who picks up her third personal foul, and Courtney Huffman at the line, shooting two. Her first shot, good. Julianne Papandria into the lineup now to replace Adrian Klinger for UDA. As uh, Huffman puts her second shot up and in good. And in doing so, ties up the ball game, 42-42. Plenty of time remaining in this one, but uh, the teams are nick it, nip and tuck. Nice shot from over there by Stacy Lark for two. Trojans ahead by two, 44-42. This is Haynes picking up the dribble, looking for Miskinis. Miskinis will take it inside, stopping and popping a little bit short. Rebound comes down here, and Lark will control it for UDA. And this is Kelly Drivelbis. 6.20 left here in the game. Kelly out at side. Shot for two from her, uh, wouldn't go. And on the rebound, it's going to be tapped out of there, off the Trojans, and it will be Millersburg ball. Wiebner back into the ballgame for Millersburg to replace Miskinis for the Indians. Dowdy for Haynes. And Haynes up to the court with it. Here's Baker. Baker on the left wing. Inside she goes here for Huffman, but then back out for uh, Dowdy for two. It's good. Dowdy with a pretty nice rush that time right down the paint and stuffed that one home to tie us up again at 44 all. Lark here for a Herb. This is Dribovis. Inside she goes with it for Lucas. Back out to Dribovis for two. It's good. Kelly Dribovis for two more. Trojans up by two. 46-44. Here comes Haynes with it. Haynes looking for two. It's blocked. Oh, they're going to call a block on Lucas. Look like all ball, but I guess she got her with the body. We'll see. Yep, call's going to go against Amanda, but from here, sure looked as though she had all ball that time, but uh, they call a foul on her. For her, it is her, oh, let's see, um, second. Her shot by uh, Haynes would not go. Jen Weaver back into the ball game to replace Stacy Lark for the Trojans. As Haynes gets ready to put up her second shot, missed the first one. And here's her second try. It is good. All right, it is good. 46 45. Trojans by one. Here comes Lucas, dropping it right off inside to Papandria. Her shot blocked away, but picked up over there by. Driver this inside for Papandria for two, would go, and on the rebound, we've got a foul underneath. It's going to be on uh, Wiebner, I believe. Yep, I think it was on Wiebner. And that's going to allow UD to have the ball underneath their own basket as the driver bis gets ready to inbound the ball. Right inside here for Lucas, and she'll take it back outside for Kelly driver bis. Outside here for Herb. Now inside Lucas for two. It's good. 
Amanda Lucas for two makes it a 48 to 45 ball game. Trojans open up a three point margin again inside of uh, five minutes to play now about 450. And here comes Dowdy with it down on the baseline. She goes stopping and popping. It's good. Dowdy got it to flop up and go in and we're back to a one pointer again 48 47. Here's drive will be spinning it outside. Lucas from 16 feet out. That's short. Rebounded in there to Weebner, who will get it back here. And the Millersburg Indians with a chance to regain the lead now. Back and forth. This one's going for three. Short. Rebound right underneath there, though, to Courtney Huffman. And she missed the shot. Oh, boy. Courtney can't believe that one hardly. But uh, somebody might have got a piece of the ball. I'm not sure. It's going to be Natalie Huffman, 53, into the ball game for Millersburg as Doughty tries to inbound it and she'll do so back here for Baker near wing for Doughty Doughty over here for Huffman this is Courtney Huffman and now Doughty with it again over there for Haynes Haynes looking for something to develop inside looks to take it in herself but then she's blocked off but there's Natalie Huffman for two it's good and Millersburg does have the lead by one. And timeout's going to be called by Coach Shadel now. As the Trojans drop back by one with 3.52 remaining in this one. It's 49-48 Millersburg by one. Trojan timeout is over now. Coach Shadel settled down his charges out here and back they come. Here comes Drival Biss for UD. Over here for Lucas. Now Lark. Swings it over there for Weaver. Near side here for Drive Abyss. Inside they go to Papandria for two. It's a little short. Rebounded and out of bounds it goes. Jen Weaver trying to save it inside there, but uh, couldn't quite do it. Well, Haynes will inbound it, I think, for Doughty. Yep, here comes Doughty with it. Back over here for uh, Haynes. She'll loop it here for Doughty. Doughty goes over there for uh, Huffman, but Huffman walked with it. Courtney Huffman got the pass and then kind of took a couple of tiny little steps, but hey, doesn't matter how far you walk. <laughs> Just a short walk that time, but anyway. Inside it goes here, now in a nice pass. Ooh, ah, oh, Julianne was cutting in properly and Amanda Lucas tried to hit her, but kind of lost the handle on it and out of bounds it went. And Dowdy. Dowdy will pick up the dribble over there for Baker. Baker. Rushing it over there for Huffman and now back to Baker. Huffman has a tendency. She's on her toes and bouncing around out there. And she almost walked with that little short pass. Wow. Here she is inside again. Nope. She lost the handle on it. And what are they going to call here? Foul. Foul maybe on Huffman. The foul was on Huffman. Team's fourth. Or perhaps fifth. They're sometimes a little slow here on the scoreboard. But anyway. Got 253 we left uh, left in this one. Lark with it. And a double dribble called on Stacy Lark. Now Trojans trying to get themselves in a hole here. And uh, by gosh, they better uh, start thinking out there. Just a little bit of a lapse there as they lost concentration momentarily, but they'll get it back. Here comes Baker with it. Baker spinning at center court, dropping it here for Dowdy. One point game, 49-48 Millersburg. Two and a half minutes left. Here's a pass inside for Haynes, no good. She's fouled. And Haynes will go to the line, shooting two. <laughs> Foul was on Kelly Drivelbiss, and that's only the second for Kelly, so that bodes well for her. She has uh, played very well tonight and has stayed off the foul problems uh, with two and a half minutes to go. Timeout called by... Uh, the coach of Millersburg. So Haynes made the first one, made it a two point ball game, 50 48. Millersburg calls timeout, two and a half minutes left. Millersburg timeout is over now, and uh, through the line goes Haynes to shoot her second of two. She can give the Indians a three point lead if she makes this one. And uh, she. She did not, as it went up and bumped the wire up above, and so that's out of bounds, and so UD. Will inbound the ball, trailing by a bucket. Trojans not time to panic yet. Plenty of time remaining here now. A little more than two minutes. 
Kylo Biss over here for Lark. Lark steps up for two. That's short. And on the rebound, let's see. Going to be controlled in there by UDA. But then it'll be knocked away and a foul called. A foul will be on Kelly Drivelbiss, who I think will pick up her third. So hang in there, Kelly. She's going to pick up personal foul number three, I do believe. Well, not only did Kelly pick up a foul under our own bucket, but it was a seventh team foul. And so uh, Billersburg for the first time tonight in a one and one. UDA has not been in a one and one all night long. First shot by Haynes is good. So she'll have to uh, see if we can get her to miss this one. <laughs> anyway, 51-48. Miss Haynes looking to make it a four-point margin, and uh, she did not. And on the rebound, let's see, controlled in here. Well, now it's tapped out of there by Huffman as uh, Courtney got a hand on that one for Millersburg, knocked it out of there, much to the dismay of the partisan crowd here. They thought UD may have lost that, but of course they're calling up from up at the end. We're on, and how could we tell? <laughs> Here's Herb with it. Pushing it right over there for Lark. Stacy cut off, and uh, they'll give it back to Lark. Out here for Dribblebiss, near wing over here comes Herb for three, that's off the mark. And the ball's gonna go out of bounds on the shot. So it will be Millersburg inbounding. 1.49 left now as the clock does become a little more critical. Here's Dowdy, stolen away nicely. Here's Herb, over dropping it for Lark for two. Her shot wouldn't go, second try, good. Stacey Lark makes it up one point ball game, 51-50. And here's a ball, it's gonna be tracked down over here by Haynes. And she'll drop it back here for Baker. Baker out in front. Trojans, if they must foul or do foul, it'll be a one and one, no matter what. Here's a goal ball stolen away by Lucas. She'll drop it back here, the Trojans with a chance to regain the lead, minute 15 left. Here comes Lark on the baseline, trying to get it inside. It's gonna be tied up, it'll be UD ball as they went on the baseline with it, but uh, Millersburg tied it up, but it's gonna be Upper Dolphin's chance to get the ball, so they have it. And here comes Drivelbiss to inbound. She'll push it back here now for Lark, and Lark has the ball go on the court. It's gonna be tied up, and it'll be Millersburg ball. One minute, six seconds remaining in the ball game. Show you the clock next time down court. Ball tapped out of there nicely by Herb. On the inbound pass, Jess would like to be able to steal an inbounds pass here. Maybe we can. Trojans trail by one. Here's Dowdy. Both teams getting pretty excited about this right now. Baker has it out in front. And Baker will pick up the dribble here for Courtney Huffman. She'll drop it over there for that uh, Haynes. Clock down to 48 seconds left in the game. One point ball game. Here's Dowdy. Back here for Baker. And timeout's gonna be called by the Millersburg coach again. This time we've got 40 seconds remaining. And we're still in a one point ball game. Millersburg 51, UDA 50. 40 seconds remaining. Okay, Millersburg timeout is over and uh, they'll inbound the ball back here for Dowdy. Across there for Baker now. And Baker nearly lost the handle on it. She still has it. Clock down to 31 seconds, and a walk called on Baker. Oh my goodness, a walk called on Baker. And the Trojans, with 29 seconds left, come back here, and if they get a bucket here, we can regain the lead. We'll watch the clock now, down to 23 seconds, 22, 20. Here's Drivelbiss over in the wing for Papandria. Near side, Herb for two. Wouldn't go, rebound, and a foul will be called on Papandria as she went over the back of um, Huffman. And it looks like it's going to be Courtney Huffman going to the line to shoot a one and one. With just 15 seconds remaining in this one. This is gonna go right down to the wire, folks, no matter what Courtney Huffman does with this. And timeout's gonna be called by Coach Shadle as he will allow Courtney to think about this one a little bit. So uh, we'll be right back and hang on to your hat. Well, in, a, in an otherwise pressure-packed ball game, this is pressure here on Courtney Huffman now as she's looking to shoot a one-on-one. 
Trojans get the rebound here and go down and score. We can regain the lead. Courtney puts one in. We're going to have to score one just to tie. Here's our first try. It's no good. But the rebound comes down there to Millersburg, and they'll force one up and in. Good. It's that dog on Dowdy, I believe it was. I'm not sure. Kelly for three. It's good! 53-53, we're tied! And that's going to do it. We're going to overtime on a Kelly drive. A miss. Three-point desperation shot. And Kelly sank at it. We're going to overtime for the first time this season. At the end of regulation, it's 53-53. UDA and Millersburg all tied up. What a great finish to regular time here. Now as they put, a, put Millersburg ahead with that bucket by, I believe it was either Dowdy or uh, Haynes, I'm not sure. And then that put them ahead by three. Kelly comes right down, bangs one from 22 feet out and ties us all up. We'll play four minutes of overtime. Go Trojans now. By gosh, let's go. Oh, well, here we go. They'll jump at center. It'll be Huffman jumping against uh, Lucas again, just as it was in the beginning of the ball game. Both squads have their, no, um, Natalie Huffman, 53, in there starting the overtime for Millersburg. Otherwise, the Trojans, with uh, the exception of Weaver in the ball game, as uh, Herb is in there to start the overtime here, Jess Herb. So here we go, Trojans will be heading for the bucket to our right this time, or to our left this time rather. Or no, no, it's still the same, I beg your pardon. They were lined up a little wrong the first time, but they got them settled. Now four minutes, so we can't panic here. Do something dumb, gotta play nice. Here comes Drivelbiss, dumping it off for Papandria for two, it's good. A nice dump to Papandria from Kelly Drivelbiss and Julianne put her home. Here comes Baker back now. Plenty of time, three minutes, 40 seconds. So, not panic time yet. I'll tell you when to panic. <laughs> Here's Haynes. Haynes in front, trying to work it inside. Stolen away nicely in there by Lucas. Here comes Amanda Lucas, all alone for two. No good, off the front it goes and out of bounds. It'll be off white. Oh, oh, tough call. Tough call there. Wow, some of our Trojan fans are a little upset at that call. And back with it come the uh, Indians. They'll pass it over here for Baker. Here comes Baker skidding to more or less a halt. As Haynes has got it out in front. This is Natalie helping. Oh, right underneath is Hay uh, Baker and her shot knocked out of there nicely. What a great defensive play that time by Julianne Papandria. Way to go, Julie. Inbounded by Haynes over here for uh, Dowdy. Tries to go underneath, but picked off in there by Lucas, and back with it come the Trojans. Trojans lead by two, 55-53. They can come down here with a little bit of poise and get themselves another bucket and give themselves a four-point lead. Inside Lucas, spinning over here. Papandria from the wing for two, it's good! Julianne Papandria gives the Trojans a four-point lead timeout called by Millersburg. So the Trojans have picked up four unanswered points here in the overtime, 245 remaining, 57-53 UDA by four. Millersburg timeout is over and we're ready to go as uh, Haynes gets ready to inbound the ball. For Dowdy. Back here for Haynes, Trojans trapping up court, but now they're gonna break it down here and this is Haynes taking all the way down on the right baseline. And then pushing it here for Dowdy. Dowdy tries the baseline. Blocked off nicely by Lucas. Spins it out in front here for Baker. Back for Dowdy. Back to Baker. Baker looks to go inside with it. Nothing doing. Courtney Huffman shot blocked away by Lucas again on another great defensive play by Amanda Lucas. Huffman for two. It's good. Courtney Huffman drives herself in that time, though, and makes it a two-point ball game, 57-55. 2.05 left here in the overtime. The first overtime, perhaps, we hope not. Shot by uh, Lucas on a return. Wouldn't go this time. It's Courtney Huffman making a good play and a foul called on Drivovis. Kelly will pick up her third, or maybe fourth. I'm not sure. We'll see. They have three on the board already, but was that there a moment ago? No, it's number four on Kelly with a minute 55 left here, and that's gonna send uh, 
Doughty to the foul line, shooting uh, one and one. We'll see what she does with this one. She can get her club tied if she makes two. She can get them within one, or better yet, she can do that and uh, give us a chance to come back and gain some more lead. <laughs> okay, thank you. And back with it comes Kelly Drivovis with 145 right now. Remaining and counting it down. Kelly in here for Lark, and Lark has the ball go off her hands and out of bounds. Good call. Stacy just lost the handle on a period and uh, couldn't regain, so it'll be Millersburg inbounding the ball. And again, the Indians with a chance to come back and gain a tie at least. Here's Dowdy racing to the boards and then out of bounds, or walks, she goes with it. Dowdy got herself kind of goofed up inside there with a minute and a half left. And back come the Trojans. Oh, the Trojans dodge a bullet there as Miss Dowdy had it going good, but then uh, timeout's going to be called now by UDA. So uh, we'll be right back. It's going to be a 20 second timeout call by Coach Shadle. And uh, we'll see what happens here now with 122 left in the ball game. Trojans still lead by two. Trojan 20 second timeout is over, and uh, the Trojans will have the basketball to inbound here now. They inbound it here for Drivelbiss. Travel this working on Dowdy and hold everything. A blocking foul will be called on Dowdy. It will be a non-shooting. Took four seconds off the clock. We now have 118 remaining. And Kelly will inbound the ball. Only the fifth team foul, or perhaps the sixth, as I said before. They're a little slow getting that stuff up on the board. But at any rate, uh, charging foul is going to be called. On Kelly Drivelvis, and Kelly has just fouled out of the ball game, I believe, or not. Let's see. No, 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 it wasn't a foul. Thought they called it a charge. No, I guess not. Thought he signaled a charge, but thank goodness that wasn't true. And uh, here's Baker with it. Baker up court with it, and she picks up the dribble now, and timeout called by Millersburg with 106 left here in the ball game. Okay, just to clarify myself, Kelly Drivelbiss did pick up the personal foul, her fourth. And we've got 106 remaining here in the ball game and uh, it'll be Millersburg with the ball. They trail by two and uh, Haynes will inbound the ball for the Indians. One minute, six seconds remaining here in the contest, in the overtime. Who knows how long in the game. <laughs> And this is Doughty. Doughty picking it up, stopping, popping. It's good, we're tied. 53 seconds remaining, and we're all tied at 57 all. I'll show you the clock next time down. 48 seconds. Here's Drivelbiss with it. Kelly taking it inside, and she is going to be blocked out of there. And I do believe this will be a shooting foul. Let's find out. I certainly hope so. If it is, it'll send Kelly Drivelbiss to the line. Shooting two, it is. Kelly is going to go to the line to shoot a pair. All right, they say Kelly was in the act of shooting. She was trying to get an underhand one up there, drew the foul, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Come on, Kelly. Kelly has got us where we are right now in the ball game with that dramatic three-pointer and see if she can give the Trojans a lead here. Yes, sir. A one-point margin for the Trojans as Kelly sinks her first one. 58-57. And uh, here's Kelly's second try. It is good. Kelly drive will miss for two and alertly and immediately Coach Shadle calls timeout. 42 seconds remaining, 41.9, that's 42 where I come from. Uh, remaining in the OT, it's 59-57, UD by two. Okay, the timeout is over and uh, back with it comes Millersburg. Another opportunity to tie it up here as Haynes has it. Haynes will take it down. Oh, it looked like she might have walked. She did, got it tangled up and walked with it. Big turnover there for UDA. Even bigger one for Millersburg as uh, Herb into the 
ball game. Now Jess will try to inbound the ball. It does so here for Kelly Drivelbis. And Kelly has it tapped out of there. They're going to say it was off the hands of uh, Dowdy. And so Millersburg will defend the inbound pass. Over here it comes for Lark. Back for uh, Herb. And Herb having some trouble with it on the floor. It goes. It's going to be Millersburg ball. 25.7 seconds remaining in the ball game. And that's a 2-5. That's 25. And Millersburg with yet another opportunity to tie this ball game up. Here's Doughty. Here for Haynes. 22 seconds. Now count it down. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Now we got a pass down to 12. Here's Doughty trying to go underneath. It's thrown away. It's going to be UD ball with 7.9 seconds. Eight seconds remaining. And uh, they're going to have to inbound the ball. Hang on to it. Here's a pass quickly up here and stolen away. But uh, comes back here. Here's Baker. Can she put it up? This is good if it goes. It wouldn't go off the glass at the buzzer. The final score up and off and in overtime. 59. The Millersburg Indians. 57. Oh, a tremendous ball game for the Trojans to win their very first one of the season. Took them five quarters to do it. But they beat the Millersburg Indians by two, 59-57. Heck of a tough ball game for the Millersburg Indians to lose. They lost their first game, as I mentioned before, by three points to Halifax. They lose this one in overtime by two points. So I guess you'll say their team's getting better. <laughs> but anyway, no, seriously, it was a heck of a ball game. Both teams are really deserving to win the ball game, as it turns out, taking it to overtime and the Trojans prevailing at the final buzzer by two points. 59-57 UDA picking up their first uh, win. Gives them a one and one record on the season. And in the early going here, Millersburg would drop to, I believe, two and uh, her Owen two, as far as I know. So we'll see you at the uh, next time. And uh, good luck, UDA. Keep it up. See you then.